Now the purpose of this video is to show you how to create delay throws in Reaper, which basically means throwing a delay into the mix, but just for certain phrases. So the project set up here, and right over here, I have a vocal where I want to add some delay throws to, to fill in the spaces in these phrases. Let's see what it sounds like now. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. It's the same business with a different name. So if we go to the routing on the vocal track, we can see I'm already adding two different sends, one for reverb and one for echo, which is sending to separate tracks, creating a send and return where the effects are just on the return. So do the same thing for our delay. Let's create a new track and I'm going to name it long delay. Then we go to the effects on this track and add a delay to it. I'm going to choose the rear delay because as usual, I know you have it. And it looks like this. Now, because we're using this as a send and return on separate tracks, we don't need any dry signal. We bring up the wet and adjust the length of the delay to be four eighth notes or half note. Then we'll bring up the feedback to add repeats. I'm going to filter out the top end to about 3K and the low end to about 300 Hertz to make it sound more filtered. Now we'll send a vocal to this track. Get a send right here to long delay. And let's hear the delay. What's the angle? I'm not playing. Now the delay sounds pretty dry. Let's go to the delay track on its send and send it to our reverb. Right here, just to add some reverb to the delay. That sounds better. But now, as you can tell, it runs through the whole song. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. And that's too much. We just want it to play in the spaces in the vocal. In other words, just sending certain words to the delay. And we could do that in a few different ways. The first way is to mute the send and turn it on and off using automation like this. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. It's the same business with a different name. So let's automate this track by right clicking the envelope button and changing the automation mode to touch. But if we do this now, it won't record the automation because by default, Reaper doesn't record mute automation unless we activate that envelope. So let's go to the envelopes, go to our send envelopes and send mute and activate this envelope. Make it visible and arm it. So now if we unmute this send, it'll be automated like this. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. It's the same business with a different name. And we could see it on this envelope right over here. We could tweak it to be earlier or later to fix that mute automation. But there's one problem with doing it this way. If we zoom in, we'll see. It just turns on and off instead of fading in and out. I think it'll be smoother if it fades in and out, which we could do with volume automation. So let's undo this. And instead, let's unmute this. Let's change the mode to touch and then grab this fader and pull it down. And notice that creates a send volume automation for the track or this effect. So now, we can automate this by letting go instead of unmuting, or we could do it right from here. Just grab this and let go. It'll bounce back to the level we had, like this. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. It's the same business with a different name. Get, 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 get. 
And just like that, we created a delay throw that fades in like this and out at the end, creating a more subtle effect, which will avoid some glitches on playback. Let's hear it back. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. It's the same business with a different name. So that's pretty much it. That's creating delay throws in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go. Oh!